welcome back to my channel disclaimer if you guys see my skin peeling a little bit it's because i am currently going through a chemical peel so just in case you guys see my skin a little weird or you see a little piece of skin hanging off my chin it's because i'm currently going through a chemical peel and i told y'all i'm not stopping no content with being consistent all 2022 so with that being said, let's hop right into this video. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that post bell notification to get notified every single time you go upload the video. And definitely follow me on my main social media account at Hairzay, that's always on the screen, and the link is always in that description box, baby. So let's hop into it. So y'all, I'm honestly, before we hop into this video, I was on YouTube last night and I was looking up like how to prepare natural hair for a blowout. And I literally did not find anything. Like, I saw people prepping their hair for, like, a silk press, for a protective hairstyle, and all of the above. But I didn't see anybody prepping their hair for a blowout, which is pretty funny to me. And that's the only reason why I wanted to mention it to you guys is because when you blow dry your hair, I feel like you're still applying heat to your hair. So you need to prep it and prepare it for that process. But nobody was doing that on YouTube. So I'm like, okay. Cool. your girl day is here to show you guys what I do and how I prepare my hair for a blowout now as you guys saw in the beginning of the video I did have to go in and wash um, some of my hair tools because lately y'all my scalp been a little itchy and I'm really not too sure why I'm really not too sure why I don't have dandruff I don't have lice I don't know my scalp just been a little itchy I'm not too sure if I use too many products at once, you know, if I'm having a little bit of scalp buildup, I'm not really too sure what's going on. So I'm like, okay, let me just wash my hair too so that when I do prep my hair today, I know my hair is clean, stripped clean. And I know that when I do blow out my hair, my hair won't be too itchy. So that way I don't have to revert it back to curly really quick. So with all of that being said, I am going to be blowing out my hair you guys will know probably along the way of watching my channel that the only times that i blow up my hair or maybe do any type of cute hairstyle i wouldn't say cute hairstyle but the only time that i really blow out my hair is when there is a special event coming around and we're in february so you guys probably assume that girl you're probably blowing out your hair because valentine's day you know you're going out and yes you're damn freaking right <laughs> Your girl is blowing out her hair because Valentine's Day is coming up. My boyfriend is taking me out on Sunday, the day before Valentine's Day. And, um, yeah, I gotta be cute, baby. I gotta, I'm trying to do a cute little hairstyle that y'all gonna see. I'm not gonna speak too much about it. <laughs> but, y'all already know what's going on. So, I'm gonna be blowing out my hair. I won't be doing it in this video, but that following week, you guys will see my blown out and my leg check. And probably at the end of the video, I might do a little sneak peek. But that's it so to start off this wash day we are going to be co-washing my hair and i haven't co-washed my hair in so freaking long but i just picked up this co-wash by as i am um this coconut co-wash is definitely my favorite and the one thing that i like about co-washes is that it's almost like a shampoo but a conditioner in one like it doesn't really sud as much like a shampoo but it has to slip um it makes your hair feel clean um, and yeah, so it's very cleansing. That's really, really what I love about it. As it says right here, it's a cleansing cream conditioner, which is exactly what I said. It's not a shampoo. It's not a conditioner. It's like both in one without the sud. And that's what I really, really like. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this product right here. Um, have I ever tried As I Am Coconut Co-Wash? I don't remember, but I love As I Am. Their products are so good. They smell amazing. This is what it's looking like, if you guys can see pour some in the cap so you guys can get look at that good stuff right there whoops we don't waste no product around here baby no 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 as y'all might know my hair was in twist sure was and now it's time for something new let's put this here get a damn brush make sure my hair is detangled
my hair, it is time for the deep conditioner. Um, Y'all, that Carol's Daughter wash really stripped my hair. Like, y'all can hear that? Yeah. It stripped my hair, but my hair doesn't feel too stripped, but it feels really, really clean, which is what I like. Um, it wasn't my first time using this, what is it, like this scalp scrubber, but honestly, it felt really, really good to really shampoo my strands and to really get into my scalp with that i feel really good i think i might incorporate that more into my wash day but it's time for the deep condition actually when i was shampooing my hair i was like oh my god i literally just got a um a heating cap off amazon almost like a yeah a heating cap basically off amazon um for a deep condition i'm like this would be the perfect time to really use it especially since i need moisture back in my hair and i want my hair to really come out luscious and nice uh for this blow dry so I think that's what I'm going to do. But I am going to be making a concoction with my conditioner. Um, you guys are going to see in a few. Let me just put my hair up in this t-shirt. My hair is so freaking thick. So big. I hope it stays just like this. Let's head into the fun stuff. I love deep conditioning. I feel like it is my favorite time. Or my favorite part of wash day, honestly. So we're going to hop into deep conditioning. But I'm going to show you guys. I look like I have a little hump in the front of my hair. I'm going to show you guys exactly the products that I am going to be using for my deep conditioning. Um, I'm going to go in with the Silk Elements Hova Oil Moisturizing Treatment with the Biotin and Silk. Um, did I show this on my channel? I think I did. I'm also going to go in with the Deep Treatment Mask by Texture ID because I have a little bit of this. And I'm like, I need to get rid of it. And also because I want to do some sort of concoction. But also with this, I am going to be putting in a little bit of melanin hair oil. Um, and we're going to mix it up. And we're going to get to it. So let's make this concoction. Let's get my cap. And yeah, let's do it. It's a huge section, but I feel like we'll be good. Y'all already know I love Texture ID. And I think this... Ooh, hold on now. Daya must have created something. I know I'm not the only one that mixes conditioners, but did y'all see that slip though? Look at that, baby. Hold on now. My hair is so thick. an okay job with the weekly deep conditioning but it gets hard y'all I'm not gonna lie I'll be having so much school work to do I'll be having so much school work to do it's like it's so crazy to me it's just so crazy and a lot is going on right now so I've, I've been trying to take care of my hair I feel like I've been doing a good job <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other side of my head, put some more deep conditioner in this bowl, and I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time for me to put on my steam cap, because I'm very, very excited to try that. It is my first time trying it, so actually, let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I got it off Amazon. I didn't even open the box yet, because I'm like, I know I want to do a YouTube video on it, but I don't know exactly when I will use it, but I realized that now is the perfect time I'm to go finish the other side of my head and i'm gonna come back to you guys which is like two seconds for y'all but it's gonna be probably like 15 for me so all right guys so my hair is fully conditioned i actually did put a little bit more conditioner in my bowl so i have some left but i think i might just pour it back into my texture id mix or maybe my i don't know the other one depending on what happens i want to show you guys the shedding that i've experienced so far on wash day which is not that bad Basically, I shed it this much during wash day, and that's it's not bad at all. With all that being said, we are going to hop into this hair care cap. It's waterproof, adjustable, high-quality, overheating protection, simple operation, and it's portable. 
amazing. Oh wow, they gave me shower caps. That's so cute. So they gave me two shower caps. And let's get down to business. So let's see. 30 minutes. Looks like I got a hat on. I'm guessing I just plug it in. So let's see. The power is here. So I'm going to So it's on one right now. So let me see. I think it is getting hot. But I think I might put it on low for now. Either right now, I'm just going to leave this in my head for 30 minutes. And I'm going to come back to you guys when 30 minutes is done. We're going to rinse this out. And that would really be it for my routine. Your girl got a little cold when the conditioning cap was on her head, y'all. But I am finished deep conditioning. And overall, I would say during the process, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, honestly, it feels good. It feels warm. I mostly had the heat cap on low heat only because I felt like high heat was a little bit too much for me. Um, but overall, I mean, my hair feels soft. Let's unravel it. Let's see. That's what my hair is looking like. Oh my gosh, my hair feels so soft. My hair feels so good. What? Yeah, I'm like literally at shock. My roots, everything, like every just everything just feels so good. Hold on. Why didn't I like think of doing this sooner? What? Let's go wash this out so you guys can see what my hair is looking like after the deep conditioning. So. But this is what my hair is looking like, guys, after the deep condition with the steam cap. I can definitely say, y'all, that I would recommend that steam cap to any natural hair person. Um, that's looking for some good, deep moisture. And what I really, really like, hold on, I think I'm going blind. What I really, really like about um, the steam cap is that my roots itself really feel soft. And that's honestly what I was going for. I was really going for my roots to feel more softer than it typically um, would feel because sometimes my hair gets dry, not even sometimes, all the time because I have high porosity hair. So like my roots would be a little dry. It would just feel tangled almost and I didn't really like that. So I'm just really, really happy that I used that steam cap because my hair feels so good. As you guys can see, I can't stop touching it. My ends feel good. Everything just feels so good. My roots especially, I'm just so, I'm so surprised. This will definitely be something stable in my routine. Uh, protect, Getting a protective style or not, blow drying my hair or not. I think that, you know, using a steam cap will definitely help with elasticity and even promote hair growth almost, you know. So definitely recommend this if you haven't tried a steam cap. This is not sponsored, but it's honestly my truth, my honest truth of the steam cap. So yeah, guys, that is literally pretty much it for my in-depth routine before I blow dry my hair. Um, like I said, I'm really, really happy that I incorporated that steam cap because I feel like now my blowout is going to be amazing. It's going to be really, really good. And I'm really super excited to see like what my length is looking like. You know, I feel like when my hair is blow dried, I'm able to see my scalp more. So I really want to see what my scalp is looking like. I don't know, just weird stuff, y'all. But if you guys really enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that post bell notification to get notified every single time you go upload a video. Definitely follow me on my main social media account at Hairs Day. It is always on the screen. And the link is always in that description box. And we're about to go ahead and go blow out my hair. But you guys will see that in the next video. But yeah, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.